Challenge 1. Simple Pneumatic System What is a pneumatic machine? Remember a time when you blew up a balloon, held it in a moment, then let it zoom madly around the room? What seemed like a goofy joke was really a basic lesson in pneumatics, putting pressurized air to practical use. From factory machines and road drills to paint spraying robots and power tools, all kinds of everyday things rely on pneumatics. You may be asking, how can air be used to lift a helicopter, drill a hole, or power a train? It's all the simple science of pressure and how gases store energy when you squash them up. What is pneumatics? Pneumatics is the science and technology of pressurized air, using gas to transmit force and energy. A jackhammer can blast apart pavement by using compressed air to pump a metal chisel up and down. Compressed air goes into a chamber and a pile driver pushes the bit into the concrete to break it up and then there's a valve that flips. This compressed air then sends the pile driver back and the bit back up and that just keeps going kind of what's called a self-reciprocating motion. This happens 25 times a second. A robotic paint machine uses compressed air to make an even spray across the body of a car. Pneumatics is similar to hydraulics, where we use liquids to transmit force and energy in something like a bulldozer or crane. Both hydraulics and pneumatics transmit force and energy to do work, hydraulics using liquids and pneumatics using gas. Think back to that balloon you blew up and let go. With each breath, you forced air inside the balloon. This air pushed against the stretchiness of the rubber and the air surrounding the balloon atmospheric pressure. With each breath, the balloon inflated and created pressure inside of the balloon. The more air you put in against these external forces, the more pressure you create in the balloon. This pressure compresses the gas inside the balloon, becoming a source of potential energy. When you let the balloon go, you release this potential energy and the balloon jets across the room. How do pneumatic machines work? Simple pneumatic machines need three basic components, a compressor, tubing, and an actuator. Pneumatic machines get their power from the energy stored in compressed air, so you need something that can compress air. This is called the compressor. Pneumatic machines also need an actuator. An actuator is the part of the machine that uses compressed air to lift, move, or hold an object. Finally, simple pneumatic machines require tubing to get air from the compressor to the actuator. Compressors. The compressor is the part of the pneumatic machine that puts energy into the system by squeezing air into a much smaller space. Most pneumatic machines compress air by squeezing it 10 times atmospheric pressure. That would be about three times the pressure of air in a car tire. Actuators. Actuator is an engineering term that means mover. It is the business end of a pneumatic machine, the part that moves and does some useful job for us. Tubing. Tubing is what allows the compressed air to move from the compressor to the actuator. In pneumatic machines, this can be anything from plastic tubing to metal pipes. Now that you've learned a little bit about pneumatics, please check out your first challenge card and start building your first simple pneumatic machine.